The Lost Persian is a great modification that transports you into an era of history that you never knew about. And it's an era that you really should play. And I think this mod is difficult, this mod is not easy. If you play as big powers, you will be raided and attacked by smaller powers. For example, I played the Byzantines and I constantly had attacks from Burgundians. I had attacks from Avars and Bulgarians. And the Byzantine Empire is not easy to manage. You could play as the Umayyads and they also have a large empire but it's very difficult to manage you know this is an era of big empires lots of raiding lots of attacking and a lot of buildings and so on and so forth but the lost empire is a really really enjoyable mod and it comes in a long list of great modifications for total war Attila. and king cyrus the great who has been developing this mod has done an outstanding job what i think the mod now needs is more events and story style campaigns that is tied to each faction more greater unit variation and this is just an intro of the last version this is a mod spotlight and i will give you my thoughts on what i think the last version is so do go to the steam workshop go there download and definitely try out this mod and while the Byzantines had, under Admiral Manuel, occupied Alexandria in 645, they had also plundered the countryside, which meant, which meant that the population that had seen them as liberators began to see them as, you know, oppressors. And that, you know, the Arabians were much better rulers than the Byzantines, in some cases. And Admiral Manuel, Admiral Manuel didn't do a good job, basically. And of course the Emperor, the Byzantine Emperor, had to deal with a lot of issues. But during this time this mod perfectly illustrates how the Byzantines are weakening to it. The Byzantines know that it is time before the mighty Arab war machine goes against the weakened Byzantine Empire. While the Byzantines remain strong for the time being, there is only so much that they can do before they are inherently weakened. The Umayyads have also recovered from the First Civil War. They are still a powerful empire, they have access to the Indian Ocean, they have access to spices, they have access to wealth, to power. Their armies can dominate anybody. And the new caliph, the new caliph, Sufyan, I cannot pronounce the first name because it is, it is a bit hard for me to pronounce it. But I've gone with Sufyan because it is more easier. Now sees a path to destroying the Byzantine Empire and probably may march on Constantinople himself. There is of course a rich historical context to the backdrop of this mod. And you also have the Tang expedition. You also have the Tang dynasty that have sent an expedition to perhaps aid Peros in his conquest for reclaiming the empire. So who will you so who will you play as? The mighty Umayyads and their powerful empire. The strong Byzantine Empire that will soon decline. The Persians come in to reclaim the empire. Or will you play the Christian kingdoms? Or will you play the region of Tiberistan? Where the Tiberistan actually fought successively against the Umayyads. And they caused a lot of losses to the Umayyads empire. So it was pretty much like Napoleon's troops trying to put down the Spanish. But this is a big big mod. There is tons of units. There is a huge amount of unit variety. You can play as the tongue. You can play as so many factions. While a lot of factions do remain in their Attila style scenarios, there is a lot of the unit diversity, a lot of chapter objectives, a lot of new things. You can experience history in such a way that The Last Persian does an amazing, amazing job of doing this. And I thoroughly recommend you download this mod. The only issue I have is, is that the unit variety, while it's been good, it needs more variation. More variation in shield design, more variation in unit design, etc. What it does, it does good. And I do wish the Immortals would have face helmets rather than not having face helmets at all. But the last Persian... Have you ever wondered, what if the Persian Prince, Peroz, had managed to reclaim the Sassanid Empire from the powerful Umayyad Caliphate? What would the future of history have been like? This modification for Attila Total War is set in 661 AD, 
after the fall of the Sassanid Empire. To the eastern shores of the Danube, the Byzantines do remain powerful and strong. Emperor Constans, or who has been baptized as Flavius Heraclius, keeps the empire strong against any Arab invasion for now. But the Umayyads are powerful. They consistently raid the islands of the Mediterranean and the Aegean. I have to say, the last Persian is one of the biggest mods I've seen for Attila. And you know, would I compare it to any mods? Maybe I'd compare it to Age of Justinian, maybe I'd compare it to Restuto Orbis. Basically, I think the mod needs more work, the mod needs more greater variation within units, but for what it gives you, for what period of history it gives you, you know, the Tang period, the, it gives you so much Eurasia, it connects so much of history that Total War doesn't cover. And this mod, if you really want something that itches this 661 AD itch, then go ahead and download this mod. You know, the Persian units look awesome. And you will, you can't play an easy campaign with a big empire. That's the main thing about this mod. You know, there's so much strategy that you have to think. There's so much stuff that you have to think. Which army will go where? Who will do what? And that's a, that's the beauty of Total War Attila, you know, that playing in big empire isn't easy. You can easily fall as well. And I've had lots of fun. I had a ton of fun playing as, you know, the Byzantines, the Umayyads, the Assassinids, and there's, I'm, there is a variety of factions that I've not even tried yet, the Frankish kingdoms, the Burgundians, you know, I want to play different kingdoms, there is so much variety here, you can play as the Mongols, you can play as, so, well, not as the Mongols, but you can, I think you, could, you can play, um, I'm not sure what to call them, like, the Kaganid and all those type of things, you know what, I think this mod is fantastic, for the unit variation, for what it has now, it's still good. Still a good mod. And I 100% would recommend that you try out The Last Persian. You should really try it out. Go to the Steam Workshop. Go there, download it, and have a try for yourself. Because I can tell you one thing. The campaign is addicting, it's fun, it's immersive, and it's definitely something you want to try. See ya! Also, don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe and please stay tuned for more updates on Mod Spotlights. I will also be covering Terminus Total War that is a fantastic mod that I really really want to cover. Plus, this mod has epic battles, epic unit design, greater variety. It's a mod that transports you into a thoroughly mystical era of heroes and tragedy. Definitely try this out.